Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Kimber KDS-9C. I originally saw this at the NRA show. I was very much impressed with it. I said Kimber got themselves a double stack 1911 chambered in 9mm. It comes with 15 round magazines. The MSRP is right around $1,500. But I've been shooting it and it is a nice shooting handgun. And a nice looking handgun. You can see it has those G10 grips on there. Little bevel moving outward this side moving inward on the flat mainspring housing no grip safety at all but a very nice single action trigger you gotta love that four inch barrel it has clearly optic ready here here we have a fiber optic front sight a very tall rear sight to co-witness witnesses perfectly 15 round mags as i mentioned the slide serrations go all the way to the top strap there nice recoil spring and there is a four inch fluted barrel nice looking and shooting handgun from kimber they also make this in a stainless model that's super cool i'm going to bring that out and you can take a look at that and see what you think but we'll just do a quick reset here Everybody has seen a 1911 reset, but that's the one thing that keeps me coming back to 1911s is the beautiful trigger pull. Kimber does a great job with their 1911s. I, uh, I, I'm impressed by them. I was impressed by this when I saw it. Wanted to make one my own. Never quite got there, but let's load it up and take some shots. The Kimber KDS-9C has a bull barrel. I mentioned it's four inches. It actually has a reverse crown. I showed that it is fluted. One of the things that you have to do is buy the optic plate separate from Kimber. All right, and they're just coming out with these now, so that's something new. If you have a KDS-9C and you want an optic plate and you've been waiting for it, they are now available from Kimber. And then another thing that you don't see on 1911s too often is that the magazine release can be switched over to the other side. So it is ambidextrous potential, I guess if that's a way to say it. I already mentioned it doesn't have a grip safety. I, you know, with 1911s, we expect a grip safety with other handguns. People say, I don't want a grip safety. For example, the XD, XD, XDM models, they say, well, I don't, I don't want a grip safety. We're used to them with... 1911s but Kimber removed it there you can see it's cut out as if this frame was developed from something else I'm not sure because this is a double stack nine millimeter handgun but it is really a nice shooting handgun and I think Kimber did a great job with it I'm at Ryder's range and he did a thousand round torture test with it and it Fed, fired, and ejected everything just fine. I think he said he got up to 1,200 rounds before he actually cleaned it. But a good-looking handgun by Kimber called the KDS-9C. One of the things I did not mention is that the KDS-9C has an aluminum frame and here is a stainless finish. Same MSRP, $1,500. You can see that it's also optic ready. And then the G10 grips look the same as the other ones. These were purchased separately for this look of the gun and it does have a nice look and feel to it. Other than that, it's... The same gun, except for it has the stainless finish, looks beautiful, and it still has that very nice trigger that is so sweet. Nice looking handgun. Kimber did a great job with the KDS-9C. I wanted to get it after NRA show. I said, this is new. It was new then. You know, it's still under a year old. They're making their way out, and people who are Kimber fans should be excited about this because this is a... Very nice shooting pistol. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. 
Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.